Hey there, folks. My name is Dan Goodman, and I want to welcome you to another rousing edition of Stormwind Studios' succinct held online remote training sessions, or as we should probably call them, shorts, because you can never have too many acronyms. That being said, we recently updated our Cisco wireless courses, and there were a number of new things that I noticed. Anytime there's an update, there's new stuff to add, old stuff to remove, things to kind of tease, if you will. And I thought it would be best to kind of narrow it down to three things that I think every Cisco wireless administrator should know and or be aware of. Some of these things are tied to the course. Some of these things are more big picture items. First and foremost, so many of us are working remotely nowadays. The new normal is becoming the normal normal. And in my opinion, we can no longer treat our employees working from home as employees working from home. And what I mean by that, if a person is using their home as their office, we need to treat their home as if it were part of the office. Fortunately for us, Cisco has put together a number of solutions. One in particular is the Cisco Remote Workforce Network solution. Now, I don't necessarily want to give them any more free advertising because they have enough of it. Uh, but specifically with our remote workforce, this allows us to leverage a lot of the capabilities that we discuss in the course. Things like Cisco application visibility and control, Cisco cleaner, radio resource management, the plug and play capabilities of the access points, specifically the newer models like the uh, Catalyst 9105, allows us to bring a lot of those things into the fold for our employees working from home. We shouldn't look at it anymore and say, ah, yeah, they're using their old school Linksys access point. No wonder the Zoom video conference sucks. Spend some money, get them on par with things. Plug and play, you can't make it any easier. So by pushing these capabilities out to your remote workforce, doesn't that improve productivity? Doesn't that improve efficiency? Yes, so it is a worthwhile investment. Take advantage of the fact that Cisco has spent the time to put together these solutions for us. We might as well use them. We might as well work smarter, not harder. The second thing, and this is something that I noticed specifically when I was putting together the Enwolsi course. There were several different features that I, that I had to find myself saying, oh yeah, by the way, this is eventually going to be found in Cisco DNA Center. When you say that enough times, you start to read the writing on the wall or write the reading on the wall. I don't know. The days are starting to run together here now time. But anyways, <laughs> with that being said, Cisco DNA Center is slowly but surely becoming prime infrastructure on steroids, in my opinion. DNA Center is an advanced version of prime infrastructure but it places more of a premium on automation and the plug and play capabilities. So needless to say, get ready for it. Doesn't mean you should go out and throw away your prime infrastructure, but I would imagine that two years from now, maybe a year from now, more and more of what I talk about is gonna be on the DNA center side of things, so get ready for it. The last thing that I wanna throw into the mix is going to be the clearing of the spectrum, if you will. We should know, if you paid attention in the classes, that the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz frequency bands have been great partners. They're that reliable veteran that we can send up to the plate and they're going to get a base hit for us. That being said, there's way too many devices and those spectrums are slowly but surely filling up. The good thing about it is new frequencies are opening up. Specifically here in the United States, the 3.5 gigahertz band is coming to us in 2021. And then later in the year, probably within the next couple of years, we're gonna see the 3.7 to the 3.98 gigahertz frequency band. More bands, more devices, more capabilities, more stuff that we get to play with. That's what she said. Anyways, uh, hopefully this was a beneficial session to you guys. I kind of noticed these things. I thought it would be a good idea to kind of throw this out into the mix. I'm sure there will be new stuff to discuss here in the coming months, but we'll revisit that when we need to. We'll go ahead and sign off here for today, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.